Hello there Aquarius and welcome to your oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing well out there. So Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and find out what your oracle messages are and what you need to know about your current situation. Ooh, whoa. Okay, hmm. I feel that there may be something going on here with um, having the courage right now for some of you Aquarius but you know what spirit is reminding you how powerful you are so we've got loyalty we've got an honorable spirit some of you this might be a time that you need to harness this ferocious um, energy right now to go after your goals your dreams your visions okay now some of you Aquarius there could be a person here um, coming towards you or some of you you might be dealing with someone that is the king of wands it could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius uh, they don't necessarily have to be but you know there is a, a strong masculine here um, but Aquarius what's important is that you guys keep your eye on the prize I just feel that there's something strong about you guys uh, reaching a destination or a goal here so have the courage to move forward and some of you you may need to um, you may need to fight some hidden fears that might rise up as you are going towards these goals okay um, I felt something a little bit interesting though with this king of wands so I feel for some of you Aquarius there may be a person that might not know exactly how to approach you just yet here, okay? So just take that if that resonates, but let's continue and see what else you need to know about your, okay, there's gonna be more out of here. Let's see, fortunate tidings, camaraderie, yeah. Okay, I, okay, I do, ooh, I do feel Aquarius. There's something about you feeling empowered, okay? Not only because, you are and spirit is gifting you um, the energy to do so but there's someone here for some of you Aquarius is now some of you you might be dealing with someone right now um, now some of you you just need to wait because I do feel that there is someone here that's going to help support you um, they just kind of fuel you okay uh, because I feel a lot of you Aquarius you've got a lot going on here when it comes to accomplishing things in life um, guiding yourself and creating the reality that you truly desire okay because a lot of you you have this ability to um, utilize your psychic abilities your intuition um, your spiritual gifts in order to follow the flow of life so that you come into this reality that you absolutely fall in love with um, I'm just seeing a love situation here I mean we got something going on here with you receiving communication, news, maybe even invitations. There's a connection here for a lot of you Aquarius, okay? So I feel a lot of you are truly an honorable spirit. You're truly following your path. Um, you know, I'm just seeing this jellyfish fish as a radiant being here. So um, a lot of you, this there may be a sense of uh, coming into if you're not feeling like it just yet a, a sense of effortlessness okay and go, going with the flow here we have cancer pisces scorpio energy coming through here now some of you aquarius i can see there's something strong here with um really holding your vision strong when it comes to your own gifts your own powers and helping others with it okay what else? I do feel some of you Aquarius, um, <clears throat> you're having to, you know, calm some, uh, maybe, you know, some fears that might linger or some fears that might rise, but um, you're powerful here, okay? So let's see what else you need to know about your situation for Aquarius. And also Aquarius, this is a general reading, so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Or feel free to check out past oracle messages for zodiacs those are all timeless what else does Aquarius need to know water flight um, burdens are cast away here so something is gonna really lift your spirit and I do feel that we have someone too we have a friend we have a guide we have support here what's interesting is I just feel <laughs> again you getting into the groove of feeling effortlessness 
okay? We were just talking about effortlessness and we have weightlessness. So keep continuing for a lot of you to um, follow what your heart is saying, Aquarius, because you're doing a good job here, okay? Some of you, you know, there was something going on here with this um, energy of the King of Wands. So I feel that there's just a little bit of challenge or obstacle here when it comes to, um, you know, feeling like you're in the flow, right? But trust that you are. And something is like unwinding. So some of you, it's like, hmm, I'm getting this thing where you Aquarius may have felt like you were wound up with something here and something is unwinding for you, creating a sense of ease. So follow that, okay? Follow that rhythm. What else for Aquarius? And also, Aquarius, uh, there will be some new videos coming out for Zodiac, so you may want to check in or hit that notification bell. And I hope you guys enjoy it. But anyhow, let's continue with this reading. What else does Aquarius need to know? We were talking about your um, spiritual gifts, your psychic gifts, you know, on and on and on. And we have this message here about your crown chakra. Oh, look at this. Okay. There is something going on, Aquarius, because I'm feeling this hesitancy or a block or we might be feeling not so sure about something here. But, you know, you have to know that there's this, um, you know, I'm just seeing a new child here. Um, a gifted child here. So never forget that you're truly loved, that you are a divine child, okay? So Spirit is um, helping you guys uh, create something that is, for you, um, Aquarius, really tied into like a spiritual and prosperous path here, okay? I also see a fortunate tiding, or I would say, um, what do I wanna say? Well, I mean, yeah, commitment, but, you know, I'm seeing this thing where uh, I don't know if you have someone in your life, but I do feel you are being guided towards some type of spiritual uh, soulmate here, okay? So trust what higher forces are doing at this time. Oh my goodness, we're just talking about commitment. Look at this, 10 of stones here. So... There's a, there is a significant thing about uh, staying committed here. Some of you, um, Aquarius, it's, it's a strong thing about you going towards uh, fortune here, okay? So do not give up on your visions, your dreams, your plans. Spirit is guiding a lot of you right now and helping you guys feel abundant. Like, I don't know what's going on in your um, world right now, but I will say that Spirit is holding great fortune for you. Okay, so trust the path that you guys are being guided on. Some of you, there may be a wise one here as well that's help, um, helping you and uh, teaching you something here. So always be willing to have that attitude of, you know, being a student for life, right? Um, because at times we do have to be a student at, li at life and at times we have to be a teacher in life. So right now you're being shown the way here, okay? To a very prosperous situation okay a power couple coming together i don't know if it's like i mean you could bring both be bringing in wealth here because we have accomplished people here uh but you're gonna be fine okay so we've got uh the ten of pentacles here which is um taurus virgo capricorn and this will um really rise uh, uh rise any heaviness up right because we are in the groove here so i feel some of you there's something stirring up here when it comes to painting a reality that you truly love and that's exactly what's happening here some of you a child really is involved here okay <laughs> and it is absolutely a divine child okay let's see what else for aquarius Creative force, zeal, sacred songs. Okay, some of you Aquarius, see, I knew there was something going on with you guys. 
So some of you Aquarius are feeling a little bit um, uh, anxiety ridden or stressed or worried or whatever is going on here. Start singing, start creating some songs, start writing songs. I, you know, there's something with your creative forces, uh, utilizing your vocal cords here, um, turning things around. Okay. So even though it seems like we've got some dark storms or dark clouds here, you are gracefully moving out of a bad situation and getting into a good one here. So some of you don't hesitate on some type of new, um, idea because a lot of you might be surprised at how prosperous it can become. Okay. But whether it's being prosperous or growth, there's something really significant about you following what you're guided to follow right now. So creative force and the spirit is absolutely working with you. Some of you, you may already see an opportunity. You just got to be willing to take it here. There may be some hiccup here though, with the nine of swords about something in the past here. Okay. Let's get a little bit more about this. What do you want um, Aquarius to know about this nine of swords here? I mean, this is mental anguish, uh, shadow self. Just trust that time will heal. It's like time is your friend. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more with this nine of swords for Aquarius. Oh my goodness, Aquarius, you have nothing to worry about. A lot of you guys, you are a hero, by the way. And we do have a, the Fool's card here. Look at this. Okay. Look what Spirit just wants you to not see here. We got the sun here, right? Some of you, that's like a last tear here with when it comes to this mental anguish, maybe, you know, hard times or whatever has gone on here. But... Um, you're being shown away to your happiness, okay? So things are being illuminated on your path. Um, just expect the best for yourself, okay, Aquarius? Do not worry here. And I am seeing whatever has bothered you, Aquarius, about the past, um, there's something or someone that's going to break you free from that, okay? We have a wise fool here. And what I mean by the wise fool is... They just understand that sometimes life is just like that. Sometimes we feel foolish or we feel fooled or sometimes it is about taking a risk here. So some of you, um, you know, you may need to take a risk with something, right? And not be afraid of it because there is this, there is an energy at play right now, Aquarius, that wants to be created through you here, okay? You are the channel for this. So... I'm seeing you really fr um, feeling free. Look at this. Water flight, feeling totally free. Burdens cast away, weightlessness. I mean, look at the jellyfish here. Okay. <laughs> There's something that wants to come out with this water flight now that I've touched it. Let's see. But look at the jellyfish too, right? Effortless, being effortless in the water here. What wants to come out with this water flight? Also, I'm noticing, um, see, to me, this mermaid looks like she's singing. So use your voice. Ace of Acorns. This is like this creative force here, this cardinal here. Creative force, confidence. Oh my goodness. So we got to work on confidence. So be willing to do that. And you're talking about confidence here. Look at the sun here. So some of you don't worry here. The sun is going to be shining on you again. If you've been feeling like it hasn't, you're going to be shown some type of new opportunity. Again, something that is prosperous for you. Okay. So creative forces are at play. Just have confidence and go with it. There may be like a strong Aries energy coming through as well. I'm just seeing that ram here, but stay persistent with something as well. Okay. Oh my goodness. There. Okay. So some of you, there could be just, you know, lots of hot passion going on too here with someone, but anyhow, let's see what else comes out for you. Oh, oh, okay. 
we got the Ten of Wands here. Ambition is a good servant, but a bad master. Heaviness lifts burdens cast away. So whether this is maybe working too hard or feeling just burdened, you know, mentally, emotionally, or we're just doing too much because maybe at one time, you know, things were uh, looking good and feeling good. Maybe you were ambitious, but now you feel like you're becoming the servant to it. And so we've got to switch something around, right? So some of you, there may be something here with um, just setting out some plans here and not being afraid to do that because I'm seeing you getting a new perspective, okay? Being flexible as well. So some of you stay curious. There, there's something about with a perspective, just being open to be, okay, maybe for some, instead of worrying or stressing, when you find yourself doing that, Try to switch it up and think about uh, how to get curious about what's next here, okay? And what's possible for you. There is a traveler here too. So some of you, you may find yourself um, with someone that could be very adventurous, free-spirited, okay? Let's see, what else for Aquarius? Okay, Aquarius, what is going on? You guys, don't worry here. I mean, we got the High Priestess and we got the Ace of Wands again. It's like pretty much coming out three times here. Um, balance, intuition, secret knowledge here. You may be doubting yourself way too much or overdoing it here for some of you guys. <clears throat> I need a little bit more because there was just such strong energy coming from that. You do have a beautiful and bright future, so stay hopeful about that. Some of you guys may need to keep things to yourself for the time being, okay? Especially when you are figuring things out um, and keeping things pure for yourself. I want a little bit more about what's going on with this. Because some of you guys might be doubting some type of new opportunity right now. Seven of Feathers. You know, this is kind of like the strategy uh, situation where we may need to come up with a strategic, excuse me, strategic plan here. So some of you guys, there may be a, a need to just prepare yourself so that you can, um, you know, resist giving in to any stresses or worry here. Some of you with the Seven of Feathers, though, there could have been a, a sense of um, a false start here with some with someone or something, okay? There may have been, you know, things not really revealed that needed to be revealed or something or someone that wasn't so honest here for some of you guys, okay? You do hold some type of secret knowledge here, so use your intuition, feel something out when it comes to what to do with this new opportunity or something that you guys are feeling that's coming towards you here, okay? Let's see, what else for Aquarius? Six of Pentacles, quiet ferocity. See, there's something about you guys uh, just like patience, silence, maybe being quiet about something here, especially when you're figuring things out. Uh, Spirit is saying you will be provided for. So some of you, you might be doubting this, okay? Some of you might be having a little bit of an issue when it comes, maybe some of you, not all of you, you could be um, feeling a lack of creativity right now or something. And, and that might be um, that might be stressing some of you guys out. So if that is the case for some of you, I want you to think of, um, a sense of, well, I, I know for the males, they won't understand this, but maybe for the females, <laughs> if you've had a child here or, you know, just a, a, maybe a big upheaval or a change, um, it's kind of like giving birth to something new here. So, you know, of course it's going to make you feel uncomfortable for some of you. Um, but when you get into that state of feeling uncomfortable or stressed, cause you know that there's some type of change that is happening or that needs to happen, um, spirit is going to gift you what you guys need to produce more here, but it comes in a place when, um, we can really work on quieting the mind here, when we can really trust, when we can re release something here needs to be released from maybe some of you are stuck on something that you feel you made a mistake on or in the past or something like that. So you've got to just release that because a lot of you, you know, there's a lot of ancestral wisdom that's coming through here. So um, 
we've got more than enough being provided here, okay? So some of you, you may need to establish some type of boundaries because you might have felt, for a lot of you Aquarius with that 10 of wands, you might have felt like you have been giving way too much and not getting enough back. And this is why we're not feeling so happy about the things that we're doing that we once loved. Okay, so take that if that resonates, okay? Some of you, your writing, your storytelling, your performance, your something you um, have created in the past or currently or maybe being guided to um, is a special gift. So I am seeing a sense of reciprocity. So what you give, you receive here, right? So keep continuing to give from a grateful heart when you are feeling replenished and, to, when, and when you can, right? Um, a lot of you, Aquarius, I don't know what your situation is with, you know, your finances, your resources, but what I'm seeing is a divine child, you, being taken care of here by your ancestors, by the ancient ones. Some of you guys, there may be a connection to a Gemini, or you may even resonate with Gemini's reading as well, because there's something here that your ancestors... <laughs> And the ones that you have never met have left for you. There's a treasure for you. And this is true. I mean, this is 10 of pentacles here. So um, this is like where you're not worried about your future. Okay. Let's see. What else for Aquarius? Oh my gosh. We got, we've got to fight something. We've got to have the courage to fight something here though that's bothering you guys. Or that's got you, you know, feeling a little doubtful some of you maybe even just writing stories will help you release something here too just getting it out okay just you know this is just more like being in that flow that weightlessness right we may have to make a conscious effort for some of you guys to relax here maybe relax in water if you can okay i mean Aquarius, you have the gift of having this future thinking here. So um, you've got an advantage in your situation. So you need to just trust and believe in yourself, okay? Just utilize relaxation. Listen to relaxing music. Be in relaxing scenes as much as possible. Don't do anything aggressive. Stay away from aggressiveness or, you know, things that are harsh right now. Just stay fluid and relaxed. What else? The Hermit, <laughs> Queen of Wands, Intense Life. Also, this is like confidence here. The path is being illuminated for you. So some of you guys, you will find, you're going to find someone, uh, uh, you're going to find that person that you're seeking, um, Aquarius, okay? And also, um, I'm seeing a situation where take a little time out if you guys need to, okay? Because you are a wise one and we do have you know, this thing about ancestral wisdom here, okay? So a lot of you are finding some type of new path or a path that is really well suited for you, but we may be questioning things right now, okay? Some of you, you some of you, um, there could have been a situation where so, somebody withdrew here or we were questioning what was going on with someone, okay? Stay determined though, because I feel a lot of you, you're at your core level, um, you know, I'm just seeing this like old soul situation here at a core level, you've got um, this major intense um, love of life here. And that is what's going to pull you forward. You need to believe in your creative abilities here too, or uh, believe in um, getting what you want. Some of you may need to be a little bit more bold with your request from the universe here. What do you want to create here okay we can paint whatever we want what else your dreams are teaching you something and your dreams are also showing you something about the future so it is important to be alert to visions dream daydreams even okay meditation they're telling you something here and they're showing you the way to your miracles. And don't be afraid if you, some of you are having some vivid dreams or weird dreams. It's just releasing the extra unnecessary stress for you, okay? 
What else? You're actualizing your goals here. I just think of the spider that's making a web here, right? Doing the work. They just, they know they need to create a web to catch their insects, right? So you're creating your web. Create your web. Do what you can, right? And then rest assured and have confidence. You're going to get your, you're going to catch your things here. Because look at this. We've got actualizing goals. We got emergence, especially, oh my gosh, yeah, a lot of you guys felt like you hit rock bottom here with this 10 of swords, right? Some of you definitely um, are recovering from deep wounds and hurts and betrayals. I mean, I can see it with the seven of feathers here, okay? There could have been a sense of feeling cheated out of life or a cheater here for some of you, but don't worry about it because we're moving forward here. We were talking about goals here at the beginning, um, Aquarius. So some of you may need to do something to get yourself like motivated and it may take some uh, mental conscious effort to do so. So don't be afraid to, you know, do things that help uh, stimulate you, right? Get back into maybe some of you, you may need to make sure that you're uh, getting your nutrients because I know for some, if you've been going through the nine of swords and the ten of swords it can be hard to focus on one's health here but some of you guys might really be stressed about some goals emerging or um something like that now i do pick up something about feeling like something for some of you guys had started but then it just ended and that's what's hooking you guys up from not like maybe taking a step forward here because I'm just getting the sense of hesitancy. What else for Aquarius? High Priestess is coming through again. I'm, these two cards got left over here. Okay, so something is already brewing here. For a lot of you, um, something new is, okay, there, there's something going on here with you guys. It's like you guys don't see that something is growing here. And also, some of you need to have patience when it comes to um, some type of communication with someone here, okay? But anyhow, we do have the Ace of Wands here. And the seven of stones here. Something new is forming in your life. But some of you guys, you might be doubting this. You may need to spend some time out in nature too here. Um, now for some of you Aquarius, you may need to take um, a, a little bit of time here to reevaluate a situation. And for some, you know, don't be afraid to start on a new project, okay? Because you've already done something here and Spirit is saying it's growing. So something was a wise investment in the past here for a lot of you. Some of you guys, you might be wanting to learn some new skills or enhance your skills or maybe something with um, furthering education or knowledge. I do see some of you Aquarius, like... Uh, there may be something with a spiritual retreat here or like pilgrimage, you know. Something about you guys getting excited about some type of new beginning here. I want to, I want, okay, I'm going to get Aquarius. I want more with this high priestess because it's coming out a lot, it seems like. Let's get a little bit more with the high priestess. What do you want Aquarius to know about this high priestess? I feel that, okay, I feel that there's going to be someone on your path, maybe even the same sex as you, a friend, uh, a companion, someone that is going to believe in your gifts, support your gifts here, because they have their own gifts as well. But anyhow, let's continue with this. Uh, let's get a little bit more with this high priestess. free spirit <laughs> you're meant to feel free spirit and another thing about someone being free spirited on your path here 
there could be like telepathy going on or something is going on here. Okay. So some of you, um, you know, you're not meant to like conform pretty much. Okay. And it doesn't mean you go do a go out doing crazy thing or illegal things, but, um, this is a time you need to enjoy being free spirited because this is where your gifts and your abilities start to really enhance here. And I mean, I'm just seeing like magician energy coming through with this high priestess. So there's something new brewing in your life. What else? Okay, courage, achievement. Okay, so <laughs> seven of wands. Yeah, some of you guys, it's going to... The nine of swords, there's something about not giving in to things that could self-sabotage a dream here, okay? So some of you, Aquarius, be willing at this time for some to just, um, you know, listen to others, but you don't, you don't necessarily have to do anything with it. Okay, especially if it starts to trigger you, because I do feel that there's something strong about you guys uh, knowing what's best for you. Okay, um, a lot of you, you know, with this uh, ten of stones, there's something that's worth protecting here because you you really are well on your way of some type of achievement, tangible achievement here, and we're talking about the ten of pentacles. So there's quite a bit of success with this. Okay. Um, I want more though with the seven of wands because Aquarius, I gotta be honest here. Like you're, there, there's so much going on with your energy. Like, oh, I, you know, it's just, okay. So we got love, use love right now. It's like love and compassion. Yeah, have the courage to love yourself too, Chris, because I feel for some of you, Aquarius, you're having to do something on your own right now. Um, but you need to trust that there is some, um, there is companionship and partnership, friendship, okay, for you. But we need to just honor ourselves and love ourselves and love others right now because I feel there may be something going on with some, some of you guys with your family members or, you know, ones that are close by, and it might just be, you know, challenging right now. What else? mastery okay Aquarius you are really well on your way to a, a some type of achievement and I mean I'm seeing someone who is focused who's working who's mastering something here okay so you are a beautiful work in progress some of you may need to just kind of rise up and look at everything that's happened and gone on here so some of you are really questioning your performance your work um, you're questioning your path for some right it could get a little stressful Stay loyal though, because it's something is working for you, Aquarius. Okay. And I do see a strong sense of, for you, Aquarius is seeking and searching, um, some type of, uh, either love situation or friendship situation or part, some type of special partnership where, you know, you really work well and you both put in the work and are committed. Um, that's going to happen for you. What else? I knew you guys were stressed out. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let that stress go and come back to your center. So it may take some work and effort. Um, you know, with we're patiently waiting for things because we're having to wait for results here, okay? But right now, you are meant to surrender stress. So we've got to really work on this, okay? Because spirit doesn't want you to feel heavy. What else? Just go with the flow. Oh my gosh. Go with the flow, right? So if things are changing, whatever is going on, the, the ups and the downs of life, just go with the flow. And how do we go with the flow? Listen to your body. Listen to the rhythm of your soul here. Don't 
try to change something if it's already changed, right? We just got to kind of go with it. But you are in the flow of receiving here, okay? What else? Acceptance and hope. This is star card pretty much. Yeah, we were just kind of talking about, you know, can't ch we can't change something. Okay, there's another card that... Aquarius, what is going on with you guys right now? Calm down. Go with the flow. Let's see. There's more that wants to come out. See, I told you you're in the you're in the flow of receiving. Allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give, okay? Pay attention to your heart center and how that's feeling. If it's feeling constricted, just take a couple of deep breaths and feel that love inside. Fill yourself up with a lot of love because you are going to receive something quite special here, okay? And you're meant to because here's the thing too. A lot of you Aquarius, you know, we're talking about like some type of uh, reciprocity here, right? And I feel that you guys have hit your limit with a situation or a person. I mean, it's just too much. You've been drained. You've been exhausted. Might have felt all out of sorts here. So spirit wants to put you in this flow where you're receiving so that you can, can, you can continue to give. We have acceptance here, accepting a situation as it is, because as you accept a situation as it is, we have light, we have hope, we have fulfillment, we have dreams, we have an awakening here to what's possible. And a lot of you, I mean, I'm just seeing a lot of you, Aquarius, as a guiding light and, a, and hope to others. This is why spirit knows how important it is for you not to feel stressed out, okay? Because spirit knows you've got important work to do. <laughs> what else? Come up, coming up for air. So there is going to be some, some kind of good messages or good news or um, something's going to open up and it's going to open up your heart space. It's going to give you guys that energy exchange that you guys are needing right now because I know that you, a lot of you have been feeling really depleted. So we've got the page of cups here, okay? Spiritual, special, surprising insights. There's a um, something strong about, you know, artistry here, utilizing your creativity here. Something is going to happen, Aquarius. It's going to make you guys feel light again, Okay. What else? Modesty, self-sufficiency, circumvention, um, power, wealth, and ruthlessness. Yeah, you guys are going to figure something out. I feel that you, um, <laughs> there's something about you guys preparing or being able to um, come up with a plan. Now, some of you, there has, something was like, uh, there was a plan, I feel, that kind of went a little weird here. Uh, didn't go as planned, right? But there's another way around to it is what Spirit is saying here. So, um, also, I just, okay, some of you guys have been really moody, Aquarius. You got to pay attention to your mood, okay? <laughs> we may need to get back into, now not all of you, but some of you, you may need to get back into your heart space. We might have been very defensive or had to be very strong in situations and um, we just need to come back to being neutral, okay? Um, because you need to get into that res receptivity um, mode here. Uh, yeah, I feel some of you guys... There may be uh, something here with modesty, especially for some. If you have, you know, um, you're already like well off and stuff, there could be, just for some, there could be a situation where maybe some jealousy is around you, so you, you may need to be wary of that. But anyhow, I do see a situation where we do have a promising person here as well, okay? We do have like 
uh, a masculine, a father figure here for some of you guys. But the most important thing is that you guys know that you're well, um, well on your way here to achieving stability, success. And yes, I see a stable partner for many of you. I'm hearing something about a promise here, okay? Or some of you, there may have been a promise you made here to spirit, I'm hearing. So just going to say that once. Okay, let's see. What else for Aquarius? Four of stones. I feel some of you guys need to, um, yeah. Okay. Some of you... Um, some of you guys, there may be something going on legally here with money, um, but I am seeing things going in, going in your favor. You do need to, right now, I feel um, Spirit wants you to be wise about conserving your money right now, saving your money, um, because you're well on your way for security here or something very stable, okay? Don't hold back though. There's some type of new opening and some of you guys, there may be a situation where you're like uncertain about it, but Spirit is saying don't hold back. You need to go through some type of new opportunity or new way here, okay? Now, um, I do feel again, let's talk about something about the money here for some of you guys because we're, we're finding some type of balance here or a need to find balance with maybe our spending or our um, saving habits, okay? So just kind of, uh, you know, be honest with oneself here and just do what you got to do to get things corrected and balanced here, okay? Some of you may need to be um, disciplined, okay? There is something here that is, you know, ripening in one's life though with the seven of stones, Oops. Okay. Spirit really wants you to know that you're coming into a secured situation. Um, Aquarius, uh, maybe even some type of um, soul contract, a new uh, contract here for um, something that could, you know, uh, be quite prosperous and abundant for you. Okay. So some of you, you may need to just review things and make sure that you're looking at things um, closely for any of you Aquarius is dealing with documents or legal stuff. What else? The King of Stones again. It's the King of Pentacles coming out again. You guys got someone here, okay? There, for many of you Aquarius, um, there's something here with a partnership or, you know, meeting someone uh, that is going to be uh, pretty much going to be well off to very mature, stable, loyal, reliable here. Um, and also I am seeing that a lot of you, if you, a lot of you Aquarius, if you come up with a plan and stick to it when it comes to your goals um, for your money, it's going to work out. Okay. I'm also seeing a boss energy here. Some of you guys are bosses or you may even um, find a boss that you love working for, okay? Because uh, they're going to spoil you as uh, if you're a good employee. But anyhow, I'm sensing a lot of you, um, you know, whether you work for someone or not or you, you work for yourself, we have a boss energy. So I feel a lot of you guys are bosses, okay? I want a little bit more because I feel that there's someone new coming into a lot of your guys' life here. I want more about this King of Stones. Tell me more about this King of Stones. It's going to be love, man. There's like someone who is um, romantic. Okay, it's the Knight of Cups here, the Knight of Shells, charm and passion. I'm seeing someone who's playing music. There's someone who's really romantic here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, some of you guys, there's, good, goodness, we got, we got something good here. Somebody wants to spoil you. I mean, have you really 
some of you Aquarius, have you really been spoiled in the past? I mean, because it's your time to get spoiled here. It's time for you to um, engage in some charm and some passion. Okay. So, hmm. Go for it. <laughs> and also, some of you Aquarius, listen, you continue to follow your dreams because um, you guys are like sensing the way to go here and it's going to work out for you. Okay. But there is a strong person here that wants to spoil you. There's someone who wants to spoil you. What else? Seven of uh, wands again. Uh, Knight of wands. Hmm. I feel that right now, Aquarius, some of you may need to just not act out impulsively, if that makes any sense for some of you guys, okay? I do feel a lot of you are being protected on a path that some of you guys feel that you have to trailblaze or figure out on your own here. But you, you may need to be cautious of some, um, okay, this is what I want to say. We want to just kind of be in the flow right now. So some of you guys just may need to be cautious about um, acting impulsively right now. Okay, hold back from acting impulsively. Now, there, there's also someone here that I feel, some of you guys, either you're dealing with them or you dealt with them that was up to no good here, or they just was, you know, non-committal or very defensive here, impatient, okay? There's something about anger with this as well for some of you guys, but I just get this thing about not acting out impulsively right now. You just want to get really into the groove of um, just trying to be calm and neutral, okay? What else? Because when you're calm and neutral, that's when you're receptive, and that's when you're going with the flow. Yeah, you guys are receiving something. This magic card is you receiving something here. This is some some type of real tangible thing that's going to help carry you guys forward here. Okay? So allow yourself to receive. Don't block it. Because I feel some of you are... We're, we might be blocking. Look at this. We might be blocking. <laughs> we got the four of stones. And then I'm just noticing even on the ten of stones, we, we're like, no, no, I'm not going to let you in. <laughs> Because I know some of you Aquarius, you're like, oh, hell no, I got a lot to protect. Like, I'm just not going to let anybody in. I get that. But you deserve to be spoiled. So, you know, Spirit's saying some of you guys are going to have to take a risk here. Okay. But I feel that whatever or whoever you match up with or whatever is going on, is, they're really going to resonate at your level. You know, just having fun, free spirited, you know, and then, you know, whatever it develops it, you know, into something serious. Well, then good right uh what else for aquarius okay that's it for those so let's find out how spirit is helping you right now aquarius whoops how is spirit helping aquarius Oh, some, some of you Aquarius, there is a high probability too that someone may want to apologize here. They may come clean, okay, with the um, Justice card, uh, seeing that Seven of Swords and Knight of Cups here. Spirit's helping you guys with renewal and on this, um, you know, quest, this evolution here. So, yeah, Spirit's um, helping you guys move away from things that just don't even fulfill you anymore or, you know, that you know that you're outgrowing. Um, some of you, it's just like leaving like an old self here or old habits or, such, you know, whatever, behaviors. But for a lot of you, you really are moving on to better things here. Uh, we have the Eight of Shells. So there, that's why there's a lot of, um, you know, feelings of uncertainty. We're doubting things. Um, you guys might be super sensitive to just even the, the slightest bit of something going wrong and then you freak out. You just got to relax, okay? You got to practice relaxation. Um, listen to, you know, again, surround yourself purposely around music or things that are calming right now for you. You must do that. Um, 
you're on a soul's evolution here. So you guys were, are going to be guided to better um, situations, circumstances, or something that is um, stable for you where you're not feeling, you know, out of sorts um, and unsure. Let's also find out, Aquarius, what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Aquarius have to look forward to in the near future? Oh my gosh. Uh, transformation, rebirth, something being purified out of your life that just doesn't even serve some of you guys. We have the death card here. So some type of old situation, something old here. What you have to look forward to is your own new transformation and something new. Oh, there's some, there is some type of new, um, okay. You guys are going to get something here. Like you're going to be holding it, touching it, making something of it. Okay. But what you have to look forward to is your own transformation and transition and renewal because you deserve it. Scorpio energy is coming through. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.